Hi guys, in the previous tutorial I showed you how to make a tree map. Now I'm going to show you four different ways to format it so that it looks a little bit more professional, like this one, like this one, like this one, or like this one. So if you have any doubts, you can leave a comment in the section below. And also you can download the sample file in the description. If you like the video, don't forget to like and subscribe at the end. So let's get started. So the first thing that we need to do for the chart is to select it and then I'm going to change the chart title to sales by region. Okay. After this, I'm going to go up to the chart design section and I'm going to change it to style number four. So in this design, you can see that I have the labels of all of the regions on the top of each quadrant. So in this case, I have north, east, south and west. Now, the next thing that I want to do is to change the font of the chart. So I'm going to go up to the home menu and I'm going to select in the font section this Arial type because it's a professional looking font. Now I want to go back to the chart design menu and I'm going to change the colors of the chart. So I'm going to click on this color palette and I'm going to select the style number three. Now the next thing that I want to do is to change the data labels to display the sales of each customer. So I'm going to click on any point of my data labels and I'm going to right click on format data labels. And this is going to bring up the right pane and on the label options, on the label options icon and still on the label options section, I'm going to add in here the value. So now, as you can see, each quadrant and each customer has its own value. So we're done with our first design. So the first thing that I want to do for my second design is to select the chart and then I'm going to change the chart title to sales by region. Okay. Then I'm going to select the whole chart again and I'm going to go up to the chart design and I'm going to change the style to style number six. So now that I have done that, I'm going to go to the home menu and I'm going to change the font to Sego UI because I like this one. It looks very nice. So I'm going to hit enter. There we go. And now since the title is not visible anymore, I'm going to select it and I'm going to change the font color to white. There we go. Now I want to go back to the chart design menu and I'm going to change the colors. So on the colorful section, I'm going to choose the colorful palette too. And there we go. Now the next thing that I want to do is to add the sales to the data labels. So I'm going to click on the data labels and I'm going to right click on the format data labels option. And this is going to open up the right pane and I want to make sure that I'm on the label options on the label options icon. And I'm going to look in here for the value. And after I click it, I can see that I have the sales and the customer name on the same line, but the separator, as you can see, it's a comma and I don't like the way the comma looks. So instead of a comma, I just want a blank space in there. So on the separator option, I'm going to look in here for the space. So now I have removed the comma from the customer and his sales. And that's it with our second design. Now for our third design, the first thing that I'm going to do is to change the chart title to sales by region. Okay. Then I'm going to select the whole chart and I'm going to go up to the chart design. And this time I'm going to select the style number two. Okay. And I'm going to change the colors to the monochromatic scale. I'm going to select the monochromatic palette four. And there we go. Now I'm going to change the background of the chart. So I'm going to go to the home menu and still with the whole chart selected, 
I'm going to change the fill color to dark blue. And there we go. So now the title isn't visible anymore. So I'm going to select it and I'm going to change the font color to white. So I'm going to click in here. I'm going to select white and there we go. Now I want to make sure that I have all the charts selected again. So I'm going to click it and I'm going to change the font to this Verdana one because I think it's a professional looking font. And I'm going to hit enter. Now the last thing that I want to do is to add the sales to the customer labels. So I'm going to click on the customer labels and I'm going to right click on them and I'm going to look for the format data labels option. And after the right pane is open, I'm going to look for the label options section on the label options icon. And I'm going to look in here for the value. So I'm going to click it and there we go. But I don't want the value to be on the same line as the customer. So I'm going to change the separator in here. And instead of a comma, I want the separator to be a new line. So I'm going to click it. And there we go. Now the customer and his sales are on different lines. Now the next thing that I want to do is to display the sales in US dollars. So I'm going to click in here on the number section. And on the category, I'm going to choose currency. So now my sales are displayed in US dollars. And now as a final step, just to make the text a little bit more visible, I'm going to select the whole chart and I'm going to click on bold so that it looks a little bit better. So we're done with our third design. Now for our last design, the first thing that I want to do is to select my chart and on the title, I'm going to change it to sales by region. After I'm done with that, I'm going to select the whole chart and I'm going to go up to the chart design menu and on the chart styles, I'm going to choose the style number eight, which is this one. So after this, I want to remove the legend because I don't think it's useful anymore. So I'm going to click it and I'm going to press the delete button. Now I'm going to change the font of the chart. So I'm going to go up to the home menu and this time I'm going to pick the century Gothic font. Okay. And now the next thing that I want to do is to add the sales to the data labels. So I'm going to click on the data labels on any point in them. I'm going to right click and I'm going to look for the format data labels. So this is going to open up the right pane and on the label options, on the label options icon, I'm going to make sure that I have the value selected in here. And there we go. And now I want the values and the customer name to be separated by a line. So instead of a comma, I'm going to choose in here new line. And there we go. Now the final step that I want to do on this chart is to make the quadrants more visible. So I'm going to select in here all of the quadrants. I want to make sure that they are selected and still on my right pane, I'm going to click on the fill and line section. And here I'm going to look for the border and I'm going to click on the solid line. Okay. I'm going to make sure that I have a black line selected and then I'm going to change the width to a width of two points so that it is more visible. And now I want the quadrants to have a different effect. So I'm going to click in here on the effects section and I'm going to click on the shadow option and I'm going to click in here. Let's see which one I'm going to choose this one, the inside center. Okay. And I'm going to change the blur so that it is more visible and I'm going to leave it at 20, 28 probably. And there we go. So we're done with our fourth design. All right, guys, I hope that video was useful. If it was, please don't forget to leave a comment to like and to subscribe. It doesn't cost you anything and you'll be motivating me to upload more tutorials for you. Also, don't forget that you can download the sample file in the description below. So thanks again and see you next time.